quick tutorial on how to install CMU, the Wii U emulator, on Linux. This is Pop OS 2004, the latest version of Pop OS. I like this distribution because it comes with video drivers pre installed. So, to get started, I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded the uh, zip file, the latest CMU version. Mine's 1.19.3 at time of recording, and that's a Patreon release. And I think you might have to uh, have 1.19.2 if you're not a Patreon, if you're doing this today. Uh, then you're going to want to go over to cmuhook.sshnuke.net. Hit the Downloads tab and download this zip file here and just throw it into the same folder. Once you've done that, extract CMU zip file. always get rid of that junk there. Uh, open up the CMU hook zip and we're going to take all these files here and extract them into the directory that we've just created for CMU. So just drag them in, done. Okay. Next you're going to need Lutris. Head over to Lutris.net, hit download and you're going to see here for Ubuntu and Pop OS some terminal commands that you're going to run. Just take each one copy it, paste it into your terminal, press enter. Okay, it's that simple. Once you've done those three, you'll have a menu entry, if you hit the special key on your keyboard, for Lutris. Open up Lutris, hit this gear here next to Runners. Scroll all the way down until you get to Wine and press this icon here. Make sure that you've got this runner installed. Click it, it'll install it. So that's Lutris 5.7, okay? Come in here, we're gonna add a new game. Let's call it CMU Latest. So, runner, wine. Go to game options. For the executable, we're gonna to browse to the folder that we've just created and click cmu.x. Then for working directory, same thing again but it's just on the, the parent directory there. Okay, it should look something like this. For the prefix architecture, click 64-bit, then head into runner options. Make sure that this wine version here is the one, the runner that we've just enabled, 5.7. Don't need DXVK, but we do need eSync. Okay, um, system options. So here, we're gonna do couple of things depending on um, what environment you're running this on. So for me this is NVIDIA so I'm going to take this key here that says underscore underscore GL underscore threaded optimizations I'm going to set that to 1 add another one this one is vblank underscore mode, set that to zero. Next one is wine sync equals one. Okay. And then if you are on AMD, you're going to want to add. So don't add the ones I've just added, add these ones instead. R600 debug equals no hyper Z. Yep. Uh, we want this one, Mesa GL thread. Set that to true. Similar again here, you're going to need the V blank mode 0 and wine sync equals 1. So because I'm on NVIDIA, I'm just going to get rid of those two that I've just added there and press save. Okay, so next you're going to go down to wine configuration. And it's probably going to ask you at this point to install some libraries. Just click through them. Um, it's things like mono runtime and stuff that usually pops up. Okay, this is the important part. Click the libraries tab. And I know this is a bit small because I'm using uh, scaling. But for this new override library, you're going to type keystone.dll in there, add, and then dbg help 
dll. You're going to get a warning when you add this one. Normally. I guess I didn't. Okay, it's odd. Uh, click apply. Okay, and now when we load up CMU latest, you're gonna get your uh, first run wizard. Now I'm really sorry about the fonts being so small on this, but you can see this first section here is uh, your MLC path. Now, if you want a quick and dirty setup, just leave this as it is. Then for game path, navigate to wherever your game dumps are. For me, that's home, call, uh, Sarah store, games, games. Wii U. Okay, and then click download community graphics packs. Once you've done that, click next. Um, I won't do configure input on this video, I'll just leave it as it is, and then close. Okay, so now we can see here are all my games. Um, we get a lot of questions in the Linux Discord about Breath of the Wild, so I'll just show you how to quickly get the best, um, or the easiest settings for Breath of the Wild. If you've got a CPU that's got a lot of cores, you're going to want to right click it, um, edit game profile, and go to triple core recompiler. Okay, then right click, edit graphics packs. Don't seem to be there. It's odd. If that happens, just there we go. Um, now there's a few things that you need for Breath of the Wild. If you've got, uh, if you're using Vulkan, which I'm gonna say do, then this one, and if you go to mods, FPS++, these ones that say required, just tick all of those, all right? Another thing you can do with the graphics is you can turn on anti-aliasing, set the resolution to, let's say I'm on 4K, so 3840 by 2160, and shadow, I've got a fairly decent GPU, so this will depend on what your GPU is. I set it to high, um, and then I close that. Now, head over to general settings, and you want to do graphics. I set this to Vulkan, um, because I like the, the, uh, the speed of shader compilation. Okay, so you're gonna get some options. I always have VSync off, leave all this as it is. Um, I think that's it. Oh, the other thing is head to the debug menu and tick UCM uhook H264. Okay, so if you've done all that correctly, and I hope we have, we should now be able to double click the game, hold your breath, Set this to uh, full screen. Okay, I will just quickly set up the uh, input settings so that I can show you. Uh, emulate controller, Wii U gamepad, uh, X input, and then I've got this controller set up here. I'll just do a quick Right, the S. So when you first run this, you're gonna see this in the top left a lot, compiled X amount of shaders. As you play this game, you'll compile more shaders, you'll build up a cache and it won't stutter as much, but uh, it's definitely gonna stutter quite a bit in the beginning. So anyway, I'm not going to show too much gameplay here because I don't want to get flagged for anything.
but as you can see we are now running Breath of the Wild it's took us about seven or eight minutes to set this up if you do have any questions head over to the CMU discord and come into the Linux channel and uh, we'll be in there to help Okay, thanks a lot guys. See you later.